Oops. There it is. Let's go ahead and get a pen going again and get talking. So, 3n squared. 3 times 1. 3n and 1n, yeah. That's, that's kind of nice because that's prime. There's only so many possible outcomes. Negative 4, on the other hand, just made life a little more interesting and I like it. How do I get negative 4? Negative 2 times 2. How else? Negative 4 times 1. I should also consider negative 1 times 4. And remember, the order of these guys can get flipped around back and forth. I got it. I'm up. Of course. Now, let's start testing these guys. So let's see here. Make my first test. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be using 3n and 1n. No way around that. The question is, what are the other guys I'm going to put in here? Negative 2 and positive 2? All right. Let's see what happens when we do that. Negative 2 and positive 2. And for those that didn't catch the shortcut, let me write all four of my results out. My first swoop would give me 3n squared. My second swoop is going to give me plus 6n. My third is going to give me negative 2n. And my fourth is going to give me negative 4. Remember, the only one I'm not sure about going in are those two, which combine to 4n. That's not what I wanted. Try again. 4 and 1? OK. Let's see here. So 3n, you say minus 4? And n plus 1. So the 3n and the n are from the column on the left, blue column. The negative 4 and the 1 are from the red column, the column on the right. So we pick those guys out, we put them in here, and this time I'm just going to check the inners and the outers. So this is negative 4n, and then 3n, add them up, I get negative 1n. That didn't work. That didn't work. Now here, here's the thing though. Don't bank that the last one is going to work for sure because, well, actually, it does in this case. Um, sometimes you have to change the order around, too, and you have to change the signs around. There's a lot of different ways to combine these. You have to be open to all possible combinations um, because they all do work. Uh, we're not going to give you any that are unfactorable yet. Yet. I don't like it. Keyword. Absolutely, yet yeah, was a key word there. And those are the worst, is when you do all this work and you get to the end, you're like, I've tried every combination, it's not factorable. And then that's the answer, yeah, it's not. Sorry. You're right, it's not factorable. Well, it's, but it's part of the math. You are going to encounter those later on where it, it, it just doesn't work. There are going to be times where you just can't find the right tool for the job, and you got to say, guys, I can't do the job. Sorry. Uh, I don't think violence is necessary. <laughs> so negative n and 3n times 4 is 12n, and they combine to a total of 11n. Aha! Not just an 80s band. Absolutely. So my factors. must be 3n minus 1 and n plus 4.